during this pandemic that's been quite long, Sean, I found the most amazing escape. Something I used to do a lot, but I kind of forgotten that I, I loved. Reading. I've books. looked through every one of these books and a couple more stacks during the pandemic. Uh, forgot how valuable it is to lose yourself inside the pages of the story. Um, and this weekend, there's an incredible event for all you book lovers uh, put on through the city of Las Vegas um, Cultural Affairs Office, actually. Yeah. Don't want to miss it. Yeah, it's going to be a huge event. Actually, the biggest in Nevada and joining us now is Hay uh, Allie Haynes Hamblin. She is the director of the city of Las Vegas Office of Cultural Affairs. It's great to have you. How are you, Allie? Hello. Thank you so much. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. I'm really happy to be here. This is a big milestone year, 20th annual and back with other humans. People? Uh, let's talk about <laughs> what you have planned for the 20th annual. So we have really worked hard to pull out all the stops and do a lot of extra special things this year because it's our 20th anniversary, but also because we had to do the event entirely online last year. So we're kind of double celebrating this year. 20 years of doing the book festival, but also a return to an in-person festival, which is super exciting. Um, you know, I think probably the most exciting things that we have going on are all of our headliners in our auditorium. Uh, Fran Leibowitz will be on at 4, 4 p.m. We have Sandra Cisneros in the middle of the day. We're starting out the day with Dr. Uh, Maria Zhu, who is our children's keynote. And then we've got a lot of amazing authors spread throughout the day. Uh, we have Scott Dickensheets from the RJ, who is moderating a couple of panels. Steve Sebelius, also from the RJ, will be moderating a panel on politics at 2.30 in the auditorium. Uh, we're just we're just excited. There's It's overflowing with so much awesome stuff this year. And we should mention all these incredible people and keynotes and books are going to happen at the Fifth Street School. I have to be honest, Allie, I, I was reading the guest sheet and then I went onto the website and I was like, Oh, they are not joking with these guests. I can't believe you have Fran Leibowitz, social commentator. She is hilarious. I dig her, but yes. you, I mean, you have some major names coming into town. This is a big deal. Um, how can people yeah. attend? How can they get tickets? So the best part about the book festival is that it's 100% free and open to the public. All I recommend is that folks come early and save their seats because it's going to be a packed year this year. Um, the We don't have reserved seating or anything that you have to do ahead of time. Just show up. The gates open at 9 a.m. and we go solid until 6 p.m. Wow. So we've got you know, multiple panels and workshops and speaking engagements happening throughout the whole day. We kind of start out the day with a lot of stuff that's really geared towards the younger kids. And then as we progress through the out, throughout the day, um, the sessions and the activities uh, get a little bit older and a little bit older so that there's really something for the whole family to participate in. Absolutely. It ends with uh, Fifty Shades and then the Bible. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> be, be I was going to make a similar yeah. joke, Sean. Like, <laughs> yes, I'm sure. The day uh, but you know what, though? If it's going to be an all-day event, uh, you're going to need some nourishment. I know that there's going to be vendors there and food trucks Ooh. as well. Got to eat. Yes. Yep. We are very excited. We've got a, food, a whole area devoted to food trucks. Uh, we'll have Lobster Three Ways there. We've got Tacos Estancia there. We've got a couple of other great food trucks to look forward to. But in addition to that, we have one area that will be having chef demonstrations throughout the day. So you'll also get to come and learn um, some new recipes to try at home. Nice. And we've got a wine and beer garden area that has a juice box bar for the kiddos. I mean, we're, we're taking care of your nourishment, All both out. for your body and your mind. Love it. Food is so important. Sean and I, uh, we live, we live to eat basically. Um, glad, glad you mentioned the beer, beer and wine garden as well. Cause I think that's a lot of fun because everyone knows wine and books go together. You know, it's a fact. Exactly. Yes. Um, are, are there, are there books, uh, available for purchase? I, I haven't been to the event alley, so I have some very basic questions for you. That's quite all right. We do have lots of books available for purchase. Nearly all of the authors who are participating have sent us their titles ahead of time that they want us to have available. So Barnes & Noble is our official bookseller. They will be having um, an entire area set up like a outdoor bookstore with titles from all, almost all the authors that are featured at the book festival. In addition to that, we have over 25 vendors set up throughout the festival that are some are self-published authors, some are very small publishing houses that want to have a presence there. And then we also have vendors like 
the um, Clark County Lib Las Vegas Clark County Library District, uh, the Vegas Valley Comic Book Festival, Discovery Children's Museum, the Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada will be there. And those hey. will all have interactive elements and things for uh, kids and families alike to learn about what all the other wonderful things that we have going on in our community. Well, it kicks off on Saturday over at Historic Fifth Street School. It's great to talk to you. We're going to make sure to people and point people in the right direction. Thanks for joining us, Allie. Bye, Allie. Thank you so much for having me. All right. It's see you Saturday. Uh, we will see you Saturday, the 20th annual. Can you believe it? It's been 20 years now. Uh, the wow. 20th annual Las Vegas Book Festival. It's happening tomorrow, Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the historic Fifth Street School. Do not judge a book by its cover. It may be a free event, but it's going to go fast. So how about you go to mm. lasvegasbookfestival.com, learn more, get your parking early, get your keister in there, and open up a book.